Ladies, welcome to Unapologetically Speaking with Dr. Candace Lang, aka Dr. C. Hello, I'm back again. Thank you for joining me. Today, I would like to talk about our beliefs and our values. Actually, no. We're going to talk just a little bit about that, but I want to talk about how we word things and how we speak. I believe what we put in the universe we get back. I believe what we focus our attention on, we draw attention to. What you focus on is what you're going to get. If you focus on being broke, you're going to stay broke. If you focus on, I don't have no man, I don't have no woman, I don't have this, then you're not. The whole, the negativity. So if you focus on negative, negative thinking, that is what you get. I believe that. So I'm coming to you today. So I have my notes here. I have a couple of tips that I want to go over just so we can get into the spirit of speaking positive and not just speaking positive because you know what? Let, let's be candid here. This is unapologetically speaking. If I see one more quote, child, look, they're good. I love quotes. I think I'm quote king, a queen. I got them all over my office. I got them in there. Anybody that come to my office know that I am for for women, I stand by women. I stand by men too because I love men. However, I am this empowered being and I love quotes. It makes me feel good. However, quote and listening and looking and reciting different quotes and not believing in them and not taking action behind it. Girl, that's what it is. It's a damn quote. Stop. Take action. Something can sound good, but when you don't believe it and take action behind it, why y'all saying it? So that's, we got to stop that way of thinking. Be about it. Allow someone to help you, whether it's me or someone else. It's okay. I've been there, but allow someone to help you. If you are stuck, if you are unhappy and you are battling mild depression and anxiety and you just don't know what to do, allow someone to help you. And especially, let's start with how you view what's around you and what you say. Because what you say, it comes back in. So I would like to start with the first thing. I was raised with this one. Money is the root of all evil. I was raised with early on, and then it stopped real quick. But I was raised, especially in certain neighborhoods, that the people that had money, they were different than us. They were mean, or they were a certain way, or they didn't like us. And I'm pretty sure some of you have heard that term. Money is the root of all evil. Let me tell you, no, it's not. Money is the best lotion. And money, please listen to this very carefully. Money takes an emergency and turns it into just a situation. And if you have a family, a friend, or anything, even yourself, you've had an emergency and wish you had that money because it makes it a situation. So just invest on that for a second. Money turns an emergency into a situation it's not bad what the problem when the pro you know what the problem could be is how you view money and the relationship you have with money and the reason why i can speak on that because i used to be there i used to have the worst relationship with money as soon as i get it it's gone didn't know how to save i can save a penny i can find a penny and i'm, I'm gonna figure out how to spend that it was bad I had a horrible relationship with money and now I respect it because it respects me and now I have a great relationship with it and yeah sometimes we miss each other I have a cash flow problem but it gets it come right back to me some way somehow because I respect and have a great relationship with it and if you would like to DM me you send me an email, we can work it out. I can show you how to get there. Have a great relationship with it and start wording things differently. So that was number one. Money is the root to all evil. Let's switch that verse and start saying money creates freedom because it does. 
I told you, money would take an emergency and make it a situation. So, we're going to change that statement, please. Number two, it's another one that a lot of us have said, including myself. I don't say this anymore. People are greedy and people are selfish. I stopped saying that when I changed my circle. If you change your surroundings, you don't have to speak like that. Everyone is not greedy and everyone is not selfish. So, remember what I said. What you focus on is what you get. What you put out there is like a boomerang. It comes back. So, you have to watch and mind your words. So, let's change that verse to, I have people in my life that I trust. And if you don't, then you're going to have to get you another circle and change up some things. That's okay. I can show you how to do that because I did it. So, people can be trusted. There are some amazing people out there. Everyone is not greedy or selfish and out to get you. So, if you feel that way, it's time for you to change your circle. And like I stated, if you need help, I am here. If you don't, um, if I'm not the one to help you, get you some help. Because you're going to need it. Okay? Another one. Life is a competition. No, it's not for me. Let's change that wording. Life is a game. And how you play it, to stay in it, and to get where you need to be, is up to you. Life is not a competition. Especially in my world. It's one Candace Lane. And here it is. I'm in a lane all of my own. That's it. It's an experience when you meet me. Y'all know I say that. And it's one of me. And it's one of you. You're an amazing human being. You have a purpose and a reason to be here. Once you find that purpose and reason, stay in your lane and do you. Because it is a beautiful thing that life is not a competition. If you like competitions and you are a competitive spirit, then why don't you compete with you and get your shit together? There you go. You don't have to compete with others. So we're going to change that wording. Number four. Success is all that matters. I hear that all the time and no it's not because I know a lot of successful people that are wealthy and very successful in their careers and lonely as hell. You know what matters? Happiness matters. Because you can be successful at a career and make it a certain amount of money and have the best house and the best car and miserable as hell. You don't like that job. You suffer from anxiety and you make decent money. But every time you go to the parking lot of the, the, the job, you like, oh my, the anxiety just swell up in you. Ain't nothing happy about that. That ain't getting high. That's getting low. You got to go. Yeah. So what matters is happiness. Yes, I'm not saying don't be successful. Hey, I'm striving for success. I actually think I'm a success in my way. In my lane, I'm successful. Others may not feel that way, but I do. In my lane. However, happiness trumps success in my world. And I'm saying if you were to change that way of thinking, the success will follow because you will become passionate about whatever it is that you are supposed to do. Because like I stated earlier, we all have a purpose and a gift and you'll be able to find that. Instead of chasing the dollar, chase you. And the next one, I got to turn the page because I wrote this, this often, so I wrote that. I'm excited. So, is admiration. People say this a lot admiration is most important they want to they want someone to idolize them and I when I talk about that I mean maybe social media and different cliques and circles that you hang with uh, a lot of people come to see me because they have social media anxiety I didn't get enough likes I'm depressed I can't go to work they didn't like I'll clap for you right now I like you. Now go to work. It doesn't matter. What matters is freedom in the mind. Being free. Being free to be unapologetically you and do what you want to do for you. Freedom is whatever you want it to be, but it's definitely not admiration from and validation from others. So let's switch that wording. You do not have to be validated and you don't always have to say yes. We talked about that before, but freedom trumps 
validation and admiration from others. Because once you have that freedom of self in here, let me tell you, girl, you ain't going to give a damn what, what they think. So freedom is within. Admiration and validation is out. You're like, oh, they make me feel a certain way. I would like to hear from you how you make you feel. That is what's important. So let's change that. Last but not least, it's easy to see how different beliefs can be with other people and other outcomes. That is okay. Your belief and approach is yours. Let's change the wording on beliefs and how you feel. If someone feels a certain way about something, that's okay. Allow people to be themselves. And when I say let's change the wording, do not dislike or discard someone because they do not feel like you feel. That's okay. We are all different. You want someone to appreciate and value and respect how you feel. Do the same. So that is what I have today. Just switching it around on how we talk to ourselves and how we talk and treat others. Just remember, what you put in the universe, you get back. You do. You will get that back. Watch what you say to yourself. You are beautiful. You are smart. And you are whole. And if you need any type of help, because we all do. Hell, I still get help. We need it. Go get help. You are not alone on this journey. And if you feel you are alone, you do need to speak with someone because you're not. So change your wording, okay, to yourself. Start with self. You don't have to start today on how or with others. I came here so you can start with yourself. So, again, I am Dr. Candice Lane. Thank you for joining me today with Unapologetically Speaking. Bye.